2 minutes 13. A really big contest mark here, Richmond, just so they can set up and start to chip the ball around again. Edwards didn't want to give a loose kick. Instead, it's Foster who blasts away. Cleary well positioned, takes the mark. Two big marks in the last couple of minutes, Cleary. They'll go again. It'll be Wines. He rolls with it. And again, the Tigers. No one really flew against this man, Dylan Grimes. Yeah, that, that's his fourth intercept mark for the quarter. Four contested marks. Hits the target with that one. Yeah, we'll be playing in the half of the field now. Port Adelaide's in, obviously. Asprey gives it plenty. Back to the wing, Rioli. Jack Ross has territory. It's Tigers again. Baker, if it gets the lynch, they'll get a good, clean shot at goal. And he doesn't rush. I think he was up for the kick in. He was over the other side of the ground. He'll inevitably get hurt from the open side. Key forward running back towards goal. So Tom Lynch, he has the kick now. He's a Tiger. Tiger Tom. And look at them come from everywhere. It's not over yet, but it's bloody close. <laughs> How big's the kick, mate? He's kicked his three or four the first few weeks. It takes a while to settle into a new team. He's been magnificent worth every cent he's been paid. Well, it's a big kick, isn't it? It takes some more time. It takes some more territory. It's gone as deliberate. Port need to score twice. So there's absolutely no margin for error. Richmond win possession back. Spike's been handy too. Ross, first game, what a debut. Well, it's a match and a day he will never forget in more ways than one. Richmond fans oh. have some interesting experiences at this ground. One of their worst ever days in the final. How good to Lynch's last quarter been? Yep. It's been mighty. Contested marks, two huge goals. It's his bigger last quarter. Well, this is as big a win as it gets for Richmond in home and away football. They've won a grand final just two years ago, but this is mighty. On the road without their big four. How have they done it? Damien Hardwick, the proudest man right now in the country.